Hello everyone and welcome to another Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports. We are now in a Western Conference. Right at this moment, if you enjoyed the last game, the Kings got beaten by the Bruins with three of the winning games with three goals and an overtime winner in the third and overtime period. It was that short, but you can't just say that the power play goal was turned to be a close one to Kreji. That was on him. I give credit to him. No, it's not what they say. It's all what they did is their teamwork. Now, this teamwork is going to get even tough. The Avs are playing at Seattle to face against the Kraken at Climate Pledge Arena. And this one's going to be tough though, because both guys are tied up. Who will lead the next game? Will it be Seattle, or will it be Colorado Avs? They've never won the Stanley Cup before, but last postseason, they already, in the real game, they've already won against the Tampa, Tampa Bay Bolts. Let's find out who wins for this game. Now I'm standing by, I will have is Fan, along with the other contestant of Silver Spoon. And finally, the center ice is Son of Beast. I'll be back with the post game show after this game. Guys, all yours. Enjoy tonight's game of the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup. Let's do it. Hello everyone, fan here along with Silver Spoon and Son of Beast. This is the NHL of the EA Sports of the Conference Finals. Puck is about to be dropped and we are ready to go. Opening face off for the Western Conference Finals and we are underway. Their courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have is Lecrona. Then we have is David McKinnon, right toward right from here. Then we're across on the other side, we have is McCann. Then Ears is right toward the left wing. Then we have is Kill McCarr. Across on the other angle, we have here is, is Rantanen. And finally, we have it in, in Inboundable, we have is, is Nichishkin. The starting goaltender will be Alexander Georgiev. The starter it turned out to be with Martin Jones for the starting goaltender for the Kraken. Larson is also out here with him as well, and Eberle is with the puck, right in bounding. Now I must say this, Eberle and the team are really doing well to keep out in the second round the offense. They were really tough, but you can't just let them uh, deny them. They were really that well on the carry. Rantanen has the only official beings to put up here for the, for the zone. His tape-to-tape -tape feed keeps it right toward the offensive line to try, try to lead the mark out. But they really wanted to do, they wanted to make a creation to go with the tape-to-tape -tape passes. Vince Stein is a very tough man to be on the offense run to try to keep it over. I'll be watching two players in between of the Rantanen and Vince Dunn. Back to you guys. Pierce Schwartz kicks the puck out. Now Dunn will have the puck here. We've never seen Seattle Kraken making it all the way down to the conference finals for the first time in the season history. But this making was a very tough one to be honest right now, but Seattle Kraken is a new team re in 2021 as the last season. How did it really turn out that they wanted to get it done? Mm, I must say this, they really could be a lot that uh, trouble making in that area. But not to say how they were hard enough, they really wanted to make that one a lot much harder than they can. Seattle Kraken is a very tough team, and I'm going to say they definitely do best. Uh, and there's the penalty call, they call the slashing. And that will be Seattle's first power play in Game 3. Lars Eller is in the penalty box, that will be the first penalty for Colorado. They're on now to the Kraken power play. But the start of the first period, no score has yet to change. Comfort wins the faceoff and Johnson in the, in the board, right around the Comfort, firing out. Everly's got the puck here, now give it off to McCann. Now McCann's team having a little difficult range, short shot fires it, and Alexander Georgiev makes a save. The easy buckling is on the settle, but the change is a lot that harder in the reaction. Keep an eye out here because they are very tough passes and shots getting in the way. McCann! It's fired saved by Georgiev with the catch right to the chest. He's going to hold it up for 16-13 to go. Now the team's ready to take the face off in the offense zone. 
it's still no score in a game. Face off win for Comper, and now Hunt will have it here. Kick the puck out. Schwartz have it around again. Byram, dish it out, and now it goes back right towards the air cracking territory. Here's done, you will have the puck in range. Inbounding to Tolmanen. Now finds Gordy. In the center of the offense, looking for a run. Take the offensive rebound to Schwartz. Saved up here by Alexander Georgiev. Fling it out. Pagliano's trapped up. Keeping the puck inbound is by Rand. Pass to Hunt. Dish it out into the Kraken zone. Looks like Geller is ready to get out of the penalty box. Tolman and back to Gordy. The power play is over for Seattle Kraken. They're back to full strength. Keep an eye on the rhythm out there. They're really doing really well. And I know the offense is like having a hard time out there, but don't, don't be easy on yourself. They really are tough. Still lots of time left to remain in the first period. No score yet in the first, as right now Colorado and Seattle are the tough team to be out here for a while. Now with the puck swing over to Nutrition. The third seed still getting a lot that much harder. The second seed, I meant. Or first seed. And stop the inbound! Oh man, that's tough one! The inbound is like a terrible one to get for it. Lockwood and shot stopped again by, by Martin Jones. The wildcard team are having a lot of putting inbound, but they had a lot of range to try to keep it out. Yeah, exactly. I know one wildcard team is making their way to the conference finals, and now they seemingly did. They really wanted to do it all. That's what nobody wants. They really wanted to get it done. Now here's Johnson. He will have it back to Maljin. Maljin in the attacking range, pulling it back. Tolbinen has the puck now back to Donato. He key with the puck. The second seed team still getting inboundable. Makar has it back after a deny by the goaltender. Makar in the inbound finds Nuha. The pass is broken and Donato has the puck back. Seattle on the attacking range over to Geeky. Geeky right into the offense zone now finds Donato. Donato shot! It's stopped again! Stayed out of here! Rodriguez over it again to Nuka. Now he's up into the offense zone. I'll say it with the puck and now we'll give off to Donato. Donato went down to the blue line. Tolman and recovers the puck. 101! That got him defensively for Makar. Keeping ice edges on this one. They really are saying that this was a tough one to try to keep it out. But I say. This is a tough one to try to leave it off the mark and going right from here. Tagliano with it in the middle. Taking the puck away. Origin. Oh, that trouble one takes it here and Jones will have the puck stop. 11 minutes to go in the first period. Still no score. Now they're doing another offense here in the offensive wing for the Colorado. Keeping the puck alive is Heller. The pass has been knocked out and Toes will have it in down ball. Whoa, that close call. Good stop by the goaltender. Toes recovers it. Paneros gives it off to McCann and now they have it back. Just about under 10 3 to go in the first period. Still looking to get a goal in it. Early! Oh, what a defensive play by McCarr. No penalty call on Seattle, but they're still trying to keep it out. Seattle? I don't know how they're good, are they? They may not be uncomfortable in bounding, but I say the snow for Avs, they're very tough. What say by Jones? What a beauty! And that's what I always, always notice that Jones really got picked up here right along the way. Might be saying that this is a very tough honor, honoring game to have it more achievable. Face off win for Comfer. Now here's Naito. No penalty regained on Seattle with 9.30 to go. Oh, he tumbled down in the mid zone of the ice. By Ram into the offensive wing. Pulls right across to Comfort. Comfort trying to move around it, and the pass goes out for Martin Jones. First John to Schultz. Schultz moving again to Wenberg. Wenberg on the face off attacking. To the left wing. Now finds Sauji right to the right. Sauji. Gives off to Schultz. See, Clifton rebounded! And Stewart makes it stop. 
Now back the other way is by Ram. By Ram pass. Broken up by Schultz. The Kraken regained a group on the offense zone, picking up another string. Short shot, and Jorgen will hold the puck with an inbound save. They've always got an eye on the stride to keep that one over it. They don't want to leave it alone, they want to make that one more much sense to try to leave it alone. Now the win for McKinnon takes it over. Luck on to McKinnon. McKinnon on the fast break, moving around the man. This slot, Lockwood and stop made by Saucy. Saucy right into the left wing and fires it. Off the stick it goes right behind the cage. Gerard right to the Trishkin. Over to Lockwood. Lockwood and swinging around a bit. Trying to pass to the Trishkin. That went by Todd, saved by the toe for Martin Jones. Recover the puck for the Trishkin and it's stopped again by Jones. Jones is going to hold it here with only 6.37 remaining in the first. Teams are ready to take another face-off puck drop. Still no score in the first period. It might be the same thing, just like the Kings and the Bruins. Now the win for Everly. Larson will have the puck here taking over. The Avs will now take the possession, and now Johnson will have it over to Lackanen. This is off a right around the net. Pass broken up, nothing, nothing to carry. Larson went down. Keeping up on the line is Gachishkin, and now find Nuba. Nuba passes over again. Lackanen keeps it over inside and out. With the range inbound, and done, out of back. And ready with the puck. Keeping it on side, McCann. McCann was around. Johnson with the puck stop. Nuba with the puck releases. He stops it across. Everly will try to take it over from here. Now finds McCann. McCann right towards the left wing. Pass to Meneers. Oh, he went down, tumbled again, and then went right toward the wall. He was going to take the shot right in there, but Meneers really had a good eye look. But he was tumbled down by a defender. That really hit it off quickly and can never do. Here's Stone, you will have the puck here, now in the offense zone. Four, five remaining. He went tumble down. Johnson will have the puck in here, in the bounding to O'Connor. O'Connor, right toward the little right, right of a lane. Fires a shot. Clarkson stop, and now Donato turn. 3.30 to go in the, the first period of game three. Try to get a look at a game for the, for the lead series, 2-1. Johnson back to Cogliano. Now he gives it off to O'Connor. O'Connor back to Cogliano. Cogliano lost the puck here and now back to Donato. Donato right into the offense zone with the slap move. Saved again by Georgiev. Now Tobinen will have it here and bounding to Georgie. Donato shot. Saved me by Georgiev. What a big stop saving of the game. They're still ready to take it on with the advantage. It's still no score in the game at 2.32 to go. Now Seattle wins the faceoff. Donato, good stop by here by Giorgia. Now Giorgia's already been right there showing up. He didn't want to move around that much. He just stayed right in perfect shape. The next win goes to Seattle. McCarter gives it off to O'Connor. He's all alone. Fires. That stop saved here by Jones. Goes right to Borgen. Tobin and right toward in the center of the zone. They give it back to Borgen. Back to Donato. Donato lost the puck here. But McCarter has it recovered. Keep the swing out there. They're really all in. They do one and one and many times. Seattle back into the offense zone, now picking up their steam. Leaves it off to Osayek. Osayek over to Sean. Down to a final minute to go in the first period of the game. Schwartz in now to the right wing. Still looking for a goal. Give the burst a shot. Left it away by Jurgen. He gobbles it down and now with only 44 seconds, still getting overwhelmed. 
the tough critical here in two. Wemberg wins the face-off. Sashi went down. Rantanen will have the puck inbounding. Try to give up to Naito. Naito up in the offense. Give off to Rantanen. Rantanen moving around the net. 15 seconds to go in the first period. Gotta get this straight. Wemberg finds Forshawn. Forshawn right around the man. Player set. Stop by Georgiev. Just two seconds before the end of the first. Just it's gonna definitely be the same thing. Just like the last game. From last night. And it's definitely what they have heard. And they will have it all. So they will end up for the first period. No score but a game in the first period, just like the last game. And we'll be right back after this. On now to the second period. Welcome back, guys. And we're about to get started. And we're off for the second period. We're right now with me, Silver Spoon, and Center Piece the Center Ice. Let's find out how they did with their first recap, first period for like, Seattle and Colorado. They really are trying to like keep him right over to the line. But think of it this way. They really are trying to like leave him out. But the gap of it is impossible to try to like leave it over from the hedge. During the side of the inbounding, there's no way that they were gonna like, try to like keep it going. This offense is really putting up a lot of themselves in danger. Even other zones are really having to have a hard time. They never saw that when it's going to get there that fast. They really got to like keep the pressure in. They have a hard timing to like keep the right out of the net. And they don't have to stand a chance like they always did. They are really a good pick in the offense run to pick up a lot of saves for Alexander Georgiev and Martin Jones. Now they need some help. Every shot. Rebound again. Gets denied by the defender in Lekkonen right into the offense zone. He fires around in it. The Kraken regroups the offense zone and done down back in again in the Chushkin. Way fired out. Georgia will hold the puck here and now will give it off to Toes. Now Toes will give it off to Makar. Chop the puck off and it's McCann with the puck. Now finds Larson. Larson back to Wenberg. Wenberg right around him. Nutrition pins it up with the puck stop. Schwartz puts it over again to Wenberg. Looking it over with the run on attack. Gets chopped up. Comfort with the puck now in the offense to pick up their strain. Nutrition on its way. 2 on 1. Osayek now has it over again to Borshan. Keeping the puck inbounding is Schwartz. Schwartz blocked the shot by Gerard. Rantanen outside. He goes down right toward a neutral faceoff zone and Porger recovers it. Oh man, this is a lot that harder and it harder it gets, the stronger they're going to take him down. Osayek over again to Borshan. Borshan right around him. By Ram with the puck. Naito with the fucking in the, the wing. Entering the zone, finds by Ram. Pass to Ranton and Pat saved by Martin Jones. And to Naito with the puck. Rebounding again, now into the offense zone. Moves around the angle. Glove saved by Georgiev. Keeping it alive with only 15.01 to go in the second period. Still no score in the game. Get ready for the number faceoff. There's still no score in the game in the first period, but there will be one if they have it in the second period. Well, keep your eyes open for anybody. They want to make sure they have it all right. Now, puck inbounding over to Gerard. Donato gives it back to Gordy. Gordy on the offense side. Gordy finds Donato, but it's stopped again by Byram. Deep the pass zone to Cogliano. Cogliano in a racing attack. Tolmanen takes it away. Tolmanen on the inbounding, now taking their time on the offense. Moves it over again to Sprunge. Colorado regroups their puck. 
and Jurgic's gonna hold it up with 13.38 to go. It's like a little fire drill out there. Just keep the puck right in, in the bounding, cover it up. Lots of time left in this frame. Still no score already between Seattle and Colorado. Face-off win for Seattle. Tanev regrouped the puck back to Geeky. Off the sprint shot! Stopped again by Georgiev. Geeky back to Cogliano. Cogliano on the racing attacker over again to Geeky. Now he will dish it off to Sprunge. Sprunge in the corner. Can't find a man opener. O'Connor giving it back again to Hunt over to Heller. O'Connor right in the neutral zone. Now Larson will have it here. Keep the play up and running. Larson finds to Nev. Sprunge over again. Offense keeps it going out of the way. Newbuck with the puck. 12 minutes to go in the second period. Still looking for extra room. Browder good shot block. Club saved by Martin Jones. What a hustle. A hustling bounding and he had it right. Yo, oh, yes. All eyes Martin Jones really doesn't have it all. Keep playing the inbounding. Everly recovers it. Around the cage, Johnson gets the puck back. Newark fires around the net. Now done. Give off to McCann. McCann trying to move it away. And a stop made comes in. Pulled it out. Everly. Run him in. Jorge save. Now the puck is stopped with only. The play clock is stopped with 10.45 to go. Keep your eyes open for game four as we're about to be seeing the next part of the matchup for a rematch in between of the Bruins and the Hurricanes. That will be happening here for tomorrow night's game to keep your eyes on for the start of game number four. Follow along with the next game as you will have the next one coming in as we start for the playoffs to, to kick it in. For the Celtics and the Celtics and the Cavaliers for Game 5 at TD Garden. But their game right now for the Hurricanes and the, Hurricanes and the Bruins, they're still at PNC Arena. Now here's Benier, so he will have it over. Have the inbound. McCannon takes the puck away. Matryoshkin right over to the offense zone, picking up the run. But a slot, stopped and saved me. Martin Jones back again to Lou Borstron. Borstron trying to reach open. The stop and save. They did get enough through. A second stop inbound. Weinberg. Nido recovers it. Taking the puck loose. Gets it over. Weinberg shot. Right to Swartz. Inside. Oh, Giorgio made that with a huge chain reaction. And it back over to Rantanen. They're really a tough. Goaltenders get really that quick, but they really have nowhere else to be going. I don't know what they were calling for. They've got a lot of backup. Hornstron again. Fires it cross, and it's stopped by Georgiev. Nido over into the offense from blue line. Keeps the puck inbounding from a car back to Nido. Nido inbound. Right to the net. And Martin Jones keeps it out. Nine out to Rantanen. That's stopped by Schwartz and now finds Wenberg. Wenberg trying to reach out over into the other slot. It stopped again with the glove save. Almost went tipped out. Takes a puck away from Schwartz. Now it's ready for the Seattle territory to get back in. Gordy on its way to the attacking zone. Gordy moves around. And a tripping call will not carry here. Jurgen holds it slap down with the puck save with only 6.16 to go. Still no score. Now both players are set, taking the face off in the offense zone. Still no score in the game. It's still no goals. Now Gordy over to Larson. Gordy, ain't it bad? And they got an answer! There's Gordy with the goal! That was the first one to keep it in. Halfway down to the end of the second, Yanni Gordy did have it right. Speaking of Yanni Gordy, he was already been chosen out. He took everybody out. But for Larson, we had that puck in, in bounding to take the territory in here. 
He giving it off quickly and then taking it over right toward the other side. That was a hard pass for Larson, but he did find Gordy in the right timing. I'll be watching him for the next one inbound. Back to you guys. Done in the inbound. Stopped again by Georgiev. 5 3 left to remain. Eller right into the offense zone, into the Abs territory. Crushing its way for Colorado. Right to Eller. Eller in the attack. Done. Takes it over. Now Springe will take it over here on the offense side. Moves around him. Up in the way. Stopped again by Georgiev. Sprunge and Byram are on the attack to take the fate to take the puck chain away. Geeky recovers it. Back to Dunn on the outside. Gets blocked down. Sprunge try to keep it free. Eller takes the puck away. Here's O'Connor with four minutes to go in a second. O'Connor faces it and gloves saved by Jones. 3.51 to go in a second period. Getting closer and closer to the end of the second. Now they're ready to do it again. If you have tickets here for the in Anime Insanity and for BFDI experience, you're all ready to go. Meet us here with the first, second show, and the third show ever, every time you booked. But in this case, that will be happening on June 25th at Sabian Media Center. I will see you all there, Brian Coach, along with Justin Hoffman, and Adam Katz. Follow along with the BFDI of Michael and Kelly. It'll be all exciting to see what's going on. For BFDI, all the TPOT ex new season experience, and the Atlantic Sandy pre premier premium on here for season three. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited. Now Chris Tosi will have it the other way now on the offense side. Give up to Gimpa. Now finds Robert Gears. Robert gives him the move. Fire save by Jones. 207 remaining in a second period. Still a one nothing lead for Seattle. The credit draw here is on intentional run. Puck wins for Seattle. Now Borgen will have it out. Over to Osayek. He gives it off to McCann. McCann on its way down. Stop the inbound by Toes. Nichushkin with the puck. Keep it arranged in two on one. Looking for open room. Oh, Jones made a good nine shot made and he clocked it right towards in the high slot. He's pretty that big. Authentically, Martin Jones really wants to like head their team to the finals. Now Kiki will win the face off while Sayek in trouble. Behind the net. Now Sayek will give off to Sprunge on their attacking zone. One minute remaining in the second period. Still a one nothing lead for Seattle. Now Kiki. Bring it back to Sprunge. The puck is taken over by Toes. And McKinnon right to Makar over to Nichushkin. 35 seconds. Nichushkin. It's blubbled up. Osayek with the puck now giving it over. Keep it out of here for Geeky. McKinnon's got the puck. The Avs now make their way down to their attacking zone. McCarr will lead it out of trouble. Osayek and Donato will fling it up. And that will do for the second period. One goal for the Kraken and we're only down to a third period. Be right back after this break. Welcome back to Climate Pledge Arena. We're about to finish off the third period of Game 3. Well, we're all set, and we're about to start now. Let's have the recap. One more look here for the second period of how they did in the last one on ice for Silver Spoon. Now, they were really good enough, didn't they? were all carrying out. Yanni Gordy got a great goal. The eye contact range after Larson's pass really had it all with the rebounding to take from here. It was very tricky though to, like, to keep it from the range of outside. But you never see what was going to happen like before. Because of them, they will have to like try to like leave it off and keep it right toward the attackers going. This offense is a very tough one to make that one helpful to use one here. 
They'll bleed out on that occasion. They'll try to lead it off with a series 2-1. Now they're set to take on here in the Colorado zone. The Seattle Kraken has a one nothing lead in the third period. Toes trying to leave it out with an open room space. Now he finds the Chushka. The Chushka right over to the offense zone, now in the wing. Larson, will have the puck away, now finds Beniers. Beniers up into the offensive wing on the, on the right side. Takes a shot, and stopped again by Toes. McCann taking a look at the ankle breaking zone. Move around the man, it's blocked, rebound, stopped by Jones. Larson trying to keep the puck out of McKinnon. Now he gives it up over again on the other side. The zone mark moves it in. Jordan save again with 17.24 to go in the third period. There's a lot of hustling and bounding. I can never get to close enough attention to find out what's going on. But this attacking range is keeping from high and above. I'm not sure if it is because they're really tough. Save me comes up for Alexander Georgiev. You'll have seven have the puck inbounding for 17-18 to go. The credit job here still looking for a goal for Colorado. Now Colorado wins the faceoff and Gerard will have it up. By Ram over again to Nido. Nido in the inbounding now over again. Nido, 101! Pat it out by Martin Jones. Schwartz moving in the side to the offense zone to keep it alive. Jurgen makes a save with a puck inbound. 16.36 to go in the third period. They're really like getting a goal. They want to extend it very that far. But don't be offensive if you're going to try to like keep it going. This offense is not going to keep on scoring every time. If you're on defense, you want to block it. Good stop by Nida. And that's what defense do. Stay aggressive. Just done. Pass off the Wimber. And Nido recovers it. Backhand shot. Stopped again by the goaltender. Larson into the left wing. To the blue line by Ram to Gerard. On a round and runs in between. That's pass broken up. Yes, now have their fucking transition to go back from Gerard over again to Nido. Vince Dunn has it now in the puck zone to give off the Schwartz. Now Borstrom will have it here. Over to Gordy. Two goals in the game. No good for the stop by Georgiev. Schwartz inbound. Scores! What a beauty! It's right up in the cross of the net and the cracking extends too. You never see what Jaden Schwartz has it done here, did you? Well, there's one I can definitely say now that Jordan Schwartz has it up keeping the make. He is untoppable. What a slouch. Here's Gordy. Good stopping bounty giver by Ram, and now Gerard will have it up. Deep pass to Eller. Eller in the slot. Back to O'Connor. More around. Jones got a great stop and a good save here. 14 12 to go. The wildcard team looking to push their way through. Now they're up for another faceoff. The score is 2 0 over Colorado. Eller wins the faceoff. Caught in his hose. Finds Eller. Block the shot away. McCarter Cogliano. Tolvin and right toward and through. Taking out Cogliano's. Puck handling. Forgen will have it here now in the offense zone. He gets smashed, smashed down. Toes will have it here. Try to kick the puck out. And McCarr will have it here over to Cogliano. Cogliano still looking for an offense side to take, out, to take him out. Oh, Borgen uses his body one to get right to O'Connor. Toes back to O'Connor. And there's a delay penalty call that goes for Seattle. That'll be a slash call on Will Borgen. Well, now they're going to get back into this one. Enough of taking the shutout losses. They need to get right into this.
Colorado about to set right now for the power play advantage in the third period. Seattle wins the faceoff. Schultz will carry the puck into the end of the zone. Now McCannon will have it regroup over to McCarr. Now he gives over to Rantanen. Rantanen on the attacking range. Move around the man! All padded up by Martin Jones. Easy with this one. They really can't say that Martin Jones really can't see what's going on. But if he has a clear vision, he knows what he can do. That chemistry has to work from its connection. Blackard and shot stopped here by a defender. McCarr moves it around. Wember got the puck away from him. Hit off the wall soon. McCarr off to Lekkonen. Lekkonen to McKinnon. And they are getting tired on offense. Need to get right into this. Rantanen up again. Don't save. 11.26 to go in the third period. They are still need to get that goal right away. Well, they actually do. If they don't have the right choice, there's no option that they can't handle with the win. Now with the win, he fires it out. Now Gerard will have the puck here now, give it over again. Comfort takes it over. With the shot, it's stopped again by Martin Jones. And he fires out. He's on now. And the power play is over for Colorado. No goals remain here for the power play goal and the regular shots on goal. Well, they're always that tough. You really never want to get over this one right at the moment. But for Martin Jones and their team, the sea monsters are really like rise up. They wanted to make that one to take them out. All they say now, their time on attack was a high and low range. The average is not that quite simple, but don't get uncomfortable if you're going to do it again. Coffer wins the face off and Gerard stopped by Jones. Now done. Spins around right behind the cage. Borstrand out in the other end. To the right wing. Blocked it up by the defender. My Ram has a puck recover. Gerard has it now. Now we're going to get an Looking for open players. He goes down right toward the board. Schwartz right down the other side of his own. Kicks it coming from inside. Gerard up with it now, and now they need to get their goal. 9 10 to go in third. They gotta get some help here. Not a shot. Good block by a defender. And it's Art and it's Lars Larson with the puck. Keep the range out of trouble for Borstron into the crack into the abs territory. Pass is stolen by Gerard. He's on the way. Borgin got a good stick lift here. Now it's off again. Looking from here. Puck tips out. Gerard will have it over again to McKinnon. McKinnon still keeping an eye on the Lekkonen. Lekkonen right over to get to Gerard. 7 for you to go in the third. Watching the play offside. Good stop range to keep the puck out. And now all the players are backed up, ready to go. See, that's when you do the right thing. Don't leave it out too soon. Veneers will have the puck in racing toward the inbound now on the other side of the zone. Towards the goal net. Pass to Everly. Oh, he just went tumbled over and he was stumbled out. Everly. The shot was denied and it's wide off the range. Lekker over to McCarr, now finds McKinnon. McKinnon right toward the left, right wing of the arm side. Matryoshka around him, called the way by Jones. 6.17 to go in the third. Have some rest before getting ready for the pick puck drop. A lot of time left to remain here for Colorado. Seattle has a 2 one 2 nothing lead over Colorado. Borgen wins, wins for the draw after the faceoff win for Se Seattle. And now off to the net. Here's Osayek with the puck. No penalty call on Colorado. Moves it quickly over to Tanev. Tanev fires it around the goaltender. The Avs have their puck now into Lekkonen. McKinnon will have their race on toward the opposite. And there's the Nichishkin. 
I'll say it with the pack down find Sprunge. Sprunge on its way down from deep. Sprunge shot! What a big stop by Georgia. 505 left to remain in the third period. Still need to get a goal for Colorado. They are having tough. But you can't just get away with anybody else. Seems like sometimes they were able to do, they wanted to like get a wide open range and try to go around the goaltender. They really don't have enough of um, emotion to try to like keep them from coming. Sprunge with the puck takeaway. Goes down right toward a corner. Oh, wow, take a look at this. That's a revenge put back, says, you're not gonna mess up on me. They are really that strong. How could Hogley ever turn out if the Colorado Avs wanted to get smacked down? Saved me by the goaltender. Pagliano tries again, two times in a row, three times stop. What a play by Martin Jones. The big star is still not quitting here. All Sayak right toward the offense zone, into the slot. Right towards the zone in the right wing. Jorgen holds it puck here with 3.24 to go. Here's the call for Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn's doing really well to keep it right from the offensive on the side. Their team is a lot harder than they are doing in the wild card like Florida Panther does. But they're not really too complicated to get right around it. They are definitely tough. They've done a lot of heavy motion to keep it from offside. They're tough and they did it really well to keep it from here. I'll be watching them right around on the ice. Back to you. Block shot again. Byron! Fires! Oh, that was deflected on a goaltender and it's now on the wall. 2.25 left to go in the third period. Looking to get some extra room and Georgiev will hold it from the save being on the inbound. Not going to nobody getting the right to name now, friends, but can it try? Rebound again, Jones! Oh my goodness, he's still good. You always say that when Martin Jones really had that snapback, he wanted to like try to like keep it from here that tight. He has a lot of motion out there in his head because he's trying to explain himself. Try to leave it out. Don't leave it off tip to the market. That's the range up and away. With under two minutes to go, Martin Jones getting ready for another group to take the face off. A critical draw from here. Gordy wins the face off and Larson now in the corner. Taking the puck away for the loose chain. He went down. Larson has it back over. Dime off across again to Gordy. He's on his way down. Gerard keeps the puck out of sight. Lepinen has the puck here. Bringing an extra man on with final minute to remain in the third period. Gerard around him. What a stop made by Jones. Gerard keeping it out of here and Lekuren right into the back. Oh, Borgia got a good mess up on him. Right from the range from outside, they're already been showing it up. They do not want to mess it from here. They are just turning out to be like it's a hard one to take. Nachishkin keeps the puck out and Naito over again to Gerard. 30 seconds. Tobin and land it. And there you go. Tobin made a clear shot in the neutral faceoff zone. The extension now is 3 0. Their shout out is being pulled away right at this moment. And they never notice what they can get there right away. That far chain is more disaster for Colorado Avs to have it up with the off call. Offsides whistle on Colorado with only 28 seconds. To keep your eyes on the other angle, we will see them back here in game four after this game. And then next week on Sun on Monday. Sorry, on Sunday. We are at the next one here to keep your eyes up ahead of the Lakers and the Nuggets here for Game 5, along with the other team for another game. That will be on Saturday's primetime game after a Friday game of Game 5 and 4. One more shot left, and it's blocked! That's it! What a disappointment for Colorado, and Kraken are back in the lead.
Well, everyone's saying that Colorado, there's no way you're going to take the goals from everyone. That's what does happen the best. Well, along with me for Fan and Silver Spoon, the Center Ice for Center Peace, this has been a presentation of the Western Conference Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We hope everybody's enjoying the game and have a great evening. Get home safe, folks. All right, Ken, thank you all for your time. And the Kraken done it again. A shutout game? Not really a happening. Here's how they did with the total statistic. Three star players. Yanni Gordy with a goal and a six. Did have it all with the right movement. Take it from here again. Then a second star goes to Alexander Giorgi with 40 saves. Really done well, keeping it out with the line. And the first star, Martin Jones, did it again with 41 saves in the game. With the total shot combinations, 43 for Seattle over 41. Then a hits was 26 over 19 for Colorado. Six minutes time on attack over 541. 92 percentage passing over 90 for Seattle. Then 22 faceoff wins over 19. The penalty kill was both. Nobody had a power play goal, and their power play minutes was just that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. Please stay tuned for tomorrow night as we will have the next game to come in. The Celtics and Cavs following along after that for a hockey of the Bruins and the Hurricanes. That will be on Friday night's game at 7.30 and at 8.30 p.m. to keep it from here. Well, it may not be that hard, but hopefully it might keep it a while for as long as it will keep. So anyway, thank you for joining with us, and have a wonderful evening. Peace out, folks, for a while as the Stanley Cup Western Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. Get on safe, folks. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.